Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frayne. Today, we are showing you how it's possible to be making thousands of dollars using artificial intelligence on the blockchain. The merging of AI and crypto is a phenomenal industry that I think is only going to continue to grow over the coming years. In today's video, we're going to be looking at subnet number 93 called BitCast in the BitTensor Tau ecosystem. Let's get into it. But before we do, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video below if you get any value out of it. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and let's jump into it and talk about BitCast. Okay, so like I said in the intro of this video, BitCast is one of the 128 subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem. If you're not familiar with what subnets are and don't fully understand them, check out some of the earlier videos on my channel. Just type in subnets, type in BitTensor Tau. You'll get lots of information about how these subnets work within the greater Tau ecosystem. But just to keep things super short here, essentially all of these subnets compete against one another on the BitTensor network in order to provide valuable highly intelligent information to the network, and they get rewarded in Tau for doing so. The miners on each of those subnets are also competing against each other to provide that valuable information to meet briefs or meet the criteria set out by the subnet themselves. In the case of BitCast, because it is a marketing-based subnet, BitCast create briefs for content creators to actually create videos about promoting certain subnets or certain topics or businesses or brands creators create videos based on those uh, briefs they publish them on youtube and artificial intelligence is essentially used to evaluate the content in the video to ensure it meets the brief and the miners get paid out for how well their content meets the brief so this video that you're watching right now is a perfect example of bitcast and how it works like i said all of these different content creators on youtube are essentially mining the bitcast subnet for tau rewards the rewards that the miners actually earn in the form of or in the case of bitcast is actually in the bitcast subnet alpha token again if you're not familiar with dtau and the dtau upgrade on tau check out a dedicated video about that on my channel as well but essentially bitcast is providing marketing services to some of the most promising bittensor subnets if another subnet like shoots templar gradients etc wants to get more exposure gets more attention get more eyeballs they can submit a brief onto BitCast and then the creators will create content and videos about that brief. They will get validated by the validators when that content goes live and then they will earn rewards in the form of Tau and Subnet Alpha tokens for creating that content depending on how well they meet the criteria and the brief for that specific video. So lots of subnets are getting on board. We've covered a whole bunch of different subnets with these videos over the past couple of months. You can check those out on the channel as well. But one of the more recent introductions on BitCast has been BitCast agencies or agencies building on top of BitCast because what you now have are agencies who are coming to make partnerships with BitCast and they're able to bring lots of different creators on board with them. So if an agency has access to 20 or 30 different YouTubers in the crypto and artificial intelligence niche, they can bring them to BitCast and start creating content that matches those briefs in order to make the subnet essentially more competitive but also ultimately get more attention and get more eyeballs for the brands businesses and subnets that are actually paying for those briefs so the creator network is growing rapidly on bitcast because of the introduction of agencies over the past couple of months and what we're seeing is lots of exciting growth on the bitcast subnet with not just the amount of creators and people using it but also the price action of the subnet alpha token for bitcast itself is also beginning to reflect that so it's very exciting to see some of this actually coming to fruition more people getting on board with bitcast more people actually beginning to put out content more brands therefore coming to work with bitcast because it is a bit of a chicken and egg problem it's difficult to get brands and subnets on board to pay you money when you don't have a large pool of creators so the agencies that are now building on top of bitcast is helping to solve this problem they're bringing more creators it therefore entices more subnets and brands to actually want to work with bitcast in order to um, essentially get more exposure and eyeballs for those businesses so i've covered this before but very very briefly again the way the mining works is i can create a video on youtube based on a specific bitcast brief i've got an aws miner set up and running that's able to send the data from my video it extracts the engagement statistics it extracts the description of the video it, it extracts the entire transcript 
to go through word by word everything I'm covering in the video so that ultimately the validators can validate all of the content that I've produced for a specific brief and determine if I'm meeting the criteria as set out in the brief that the brand or that the subnet is paying for. So it is highly competitive, like I've said before, and all of those subnets and the miners on those subnets are competing for the Tau rewards. Okay, what's very exciting, like I said a minute ago, is the potential that we have here because the long-term vision for BitTensor, sorry, for BitCast rather, the long-term vision for BitCast is to continue expanding and growing so that they're not just relying on subnets and businesses within the Tau ecosystem, but to grow and expand beyond that to partner with brands and businesses in the crypto ecosystem and the AI ecosystem as a whole to have briefs that content creators can fulfill. When you begin to scale that up, you can see the network effect and the attention and the marketing flywheel that is created here when BitCast has so many more creators, high quality creators, and lots of high quality businesses looking for attention and marketing for their brands. Okay, what I've been able to achieve here over the past number of months has been fantastic with BitCast on certain days here, it's been able to earn more than $12,000 in mining rewards from putting out videos, from doing um, all of the stuff that I'm sharing here in this video in terms of growth, in terms of actual rewards getting paid out for essentially running this miner, working with BitCast, producing content that is getting consumed by people in the, um, in the YouTube videos. And then I'm getting paid out based on the engagement and the attention that I'm bringing to these briefs and these subnets and these businesses. So I hope this is all making sense, guys. The real reason this number is so high on this particular day, and it is just a snapshot, is because the price of the BitCast subnet was actually increasing pretty rapidly here over the past few days. We're having a little bit of a pullback at this exact moment in time. But if I jump in on the chart here, you can see that we found a recent bottom and we just had a really nice price surge for BitCast. And remember what I said earlier, when you're earning these subnet alpha tokens and doing the mining, you're earning the actual BitCast subnet alpha token, like I said. And so I've got a whole bunch of subnet alpha token for BitCast in my wallet. And therefore I was able to benefit from the price increase during this week period here from kind of the 6th through the 12th of July. So that was a phenomenal return. And of course, every day does not look like this, but there are certain days where you can get phenomenal rewards from producing consistent video content, from getting that um, in front of people, garnering that attention and getting paid for doing so. Okay, so the potential here is huge. And the final thing I wanted to mention about BitCast is the staking reward potential. So you can see BitCast is probably one of the higher performing APY staking alpha tokens with in excess of 337% staking APY that you can be generating. Again, all you have to be doing is holding and staking the BitCast subnet alpha token in your wallet in order to generate 337% in staking rewards. Like I said, if you're able to buy the subnet alpha token plus get the benefit of this price appreciation, this was something like, you know, a 100 to 120% gain in price, you're going to get that price appreciation plus all of the rewards from the staking over a one year period, you're looking at a very high potential ROI over a 12 month period. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys. I just wanted to share what I'm doing, what I'm executing on so that you can reverse engineer this and do something similar yourself if that's the case. Even if you can produce video content and mine on the BitCast subnet, you have the potential to be earning and generating phenomenal staking rewards. And I just wanna make you aware of this opportunity, this asymmetric opportunity that I think is here with Tau and different subnets in general. And BitCast is definitely one of my favorites. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Check it out for yourself. Like I said, it's not financial advice. Make sure to do your research, check out the charts, look at the data, look at the fundamentals and make your own decision. That is it for today's video, guys. As always, if you got any value at all, please take just three seconds, take literally three seconds, smash that thumbs up button below. It would mean the world if you can help spread the good word by hitting that thumbs up on the video. Make sure to subscribe. We've got videos like this dropping pretty much every single day on the channel. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So hit that bell notification icon as well and we'll catch you in the next video.